Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. As the face of the Walt Disney Company, Mickey Mouse is one of the most recognizable characters to every generation alive today. Mickey made his first debut in 1928, and although his overall look and design has changed over the years, one proportionate aspect of the design has pretty much remained the exact same. When Mickey Mouse was first introduced, he had more of a pear-shaped head, which then evolved into a more round design. But what makes Mickey so recognizable is the circular design of his ears. No matter what medium you see him in, his ears are always perfectly round. Even if we can't see his face, this outline has become the standard of identifying the famous Disney rodent. Our minds immediately recognize the silhouette as Mickey Mouse, whether you're a Disney fan or not. Now Mickey's silhouette can be found in the form of hidden Mickeys all around the Disney theme parks, hotels, and water parks. If you aren't familiar with a hidden Mickey, it's when one large circle and two smaller circles make up the silhouette of Mickey Mouse. Now the image and silhouette of Mickey Mouse is used a lot around the theme parks, but not all of them are actually hidden Mickeys. A true hidden Mickey isn't meant to be seen immediately. Usually it blends in with whatever it's designed into and requires a little bit of extra searching. Take for instance this mural in Mickey's PhilharMagic at Magic Kingdom. Among all the musical instruments, you'll find this cluster of dots hidden within the painting. They're so tiny that you really need to be up close to see that the three dots actually form the silhouette of Mickey Mouse. Another example, this time at Disneyland in California, would be the statue of Mr. Toad in Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. If you take a look at his eyes, you'll see a red highlight at the bottom. If we go in even closer, you'll realize that this is the silhouette of Mickey Mouse. These are the true hidden Mickeys. So something like a gate or a sign from the Sir Mickey's gift shop wouldn't be considered a hidden Mickey since it's too obvious. Remember, hidden is the key word in hidden Mickey. Today, there's literally hundreds of hidden Mickeys around the Disney theme parks. They've become a huge part of Disney fan culture. But you might be wondering exactly how did the hidden Mickeys start? Well, there was a time when guests visiting the parks weren't even aware that hidden Mickeys were an actual thing. It's said that the concept didn't even officially begin until the late 1970s, when Epcot Center was being designed. That's right, so that means there were really no official hidden Mickeys designed and placed into Disneyland or Magic Kingdom when both those parks first opened. Or maybe there was. You can trace the concept of a hidden Mickey all the way back to the beginning of Disney's animated feature films. In the 1937 feature film Snow White, there's a scene where Dopey gets the hiccups and bubbles appear. Three of these bubbles actually form the outline of Mickey Mouse. Did you see it? That's definitely a hidden Mickey. Even in the 1940 animated feature film Pinocchio, the Mickey Mouse outline is designed right into the chair in Geppetto's workshop. Dumbo in 1941 also has a hidden Mickey in the bubbles when Dumbo's taking a bath. So this tribute to the big boss of the Walt Disney Company really started with animators back in the 1930s. Although the beginning of Hidden Mickeys in the theme parks didn't officially begin until the late 70s at Walt Disney World, there's been speculation that the first one actually made its debut at Disneyland in 1955. The Rocket to the Moon attraction, which later became Flight to the Moon, was an opening day Tomorrowland attraction. In this scene of the rocket taken off, you'll notice three circular objects on the ground, which appear to form a very familiar icon. This hidden Mickey has yet to be confirmed by anyone at Disney, but there's no denying that this is the outline of Mickey Mouse. Now we're going to fast forward to the planning and design stages of Epcot Center in the late 1970s. Disney knew they wanted this park to have a much different identity than Magic Kingdom. You could say it was a theme park concept geared more towards adults, and Disney knew they wanted to sell alcohol at this park. At the time, the Disney brand and alcohol didn't mix, so this meant that there wasn't going to be any recognizable Disney characters at Epcot Center. Imagineers were immediately faced with a challenge. 
How could they possibly design a Disney theme park without including beloved Disney characters like Mickey Mouse? Well, Imagineers came up with a little idea to subtly hide the Mickey silhouette and design elements at this new theme park. Surely guests wouldn't notice, right? Well, at first, they didn't. And for many years, the hidden Mickeys at Epcot were actually an inside joke and secret just between a select number of Imagineers. No one else knew about them. Now, since October of 1982, a lot has changed around Epcot Center. I mean, now it's just called Epcot. So many of the original hidden Mickeys are no longer in the park, like the one that could be found in the loading area of Maelstrom. Although it was added in 1988, it was still a highly secretive tribute at the time. But one of the original World Showcase examples from 1982 can still be found to this day. In the Germany Pavilion above the Das Kaufhaus store, there's these three statues. King Philip I is the figure on the far left, and if you look up at the center of his crown, you'll see this original Epcot Center hidden Mickey. Now, World Showcase boasts many more hidden Mickeys, but a lot of them aren't originals that opened with the park. One well-known example can be found in the Canada Pavilion on the top of this totem pole. It was added in 1998 when Disney introduced the first wooden totem pole to the pavilion. The originals were just fiberglass. The Italy Pavilion has been home to the Neptune Fountain since 1982, but during a refurb around 2003, the rockwork behind the statue was resculpted. A hidden Mickey was subtly added into the rocks, and once you're aware it's there, it's the only thing you can see. Now, sometime around the late 1980s, a Walt Disney Imagineer let it slip to a theme park cast member that they actually designed hidden Mickeys into Epcot. Well, secrets are hard to keep, right? So that one cast member ended up telling another cast member, then the domino effect took place, and now more than just the Imagineers were in on the secret. Once Disney MGM Studios opened in May of 1989, Imagineers continued their inside joke of placing hidden Mickeys into this theme park as well. They actually took it a step further though and designed the largest hidden Mickey right into the layout of Disney MGM Studios. So when guests are walking past Echo Lake, they're actually walking past Mickey's right ear. Now one person who got wind of the whole secret hidden Mickeys happened to be a cast member by the name of Arlen Miller. In 1989, Miller was the first person to write an article about hidden Mickeys. At the time, he was a writer for the Disney World cast member newspaper called Eyes and Ears. The editors of the paper confirmed his hidden Mickey findings with late Walt Disney Imagineer Marty Scalar. The article was published on November 30th, 1989, and it was at this moment that every Walt Disney World cast member was now in on the secret. At the time, Disney News Magazine had been in circulation since 1965 and was a quarterly magazine published by the Walt Disney Company. The magazine was consumed by audiences around the world, and when they got wind of Miller's Eyes and Ears article, they reached out. Disney News Magazine then went on to connect with Walt Disney Imagineer David Fisher. In the December 1991 issue of the magazine, David Fisher wrote an article titled The Secrets of Walt Disney World, Mickey Mickey Everywhere. This was the first time the concept of the hidden tribute to Mickey Mouse was released publicly. And, frankly, it was the start of the hidden Mickey craze. When the internet became more mainstream, more and more people were able to share their hidden Mickey findings and were now in on the secret. So once the Disney community was buzzing with the idea of hidden Mickeys, existing attractions began to get hidden Mickeys added. Take for instance the ballroom scene in the Haunted Mansion. Both Magic Kingdom and Disneyland's ballroom scene have a hidden Mickey formed out of a dinner plate and two side plates on the table. Disneyland's Haunted Mansion opened in 1969, and you can see here from this promotional footage in 1970 that the plates are spaced much further apart and don't really resemble the Mickey silhouette. Since the items on the table are just set dressings, it's actually rumored that the hidden Mickey was created by a cast member who just had access to that area of the attraction. It's unknown whether this one appeared at Magic Kingdom or Disneyland first, but today, you can most certainly find this hidden Mickey in both parks. Disney themselves has never really released an official list of all the hidden Mickeys, but there's a lot of them, and some are easier to find than others. The hidden Mickey that's worked into the French horn in Mickey's Philharmagic 
is much easier to spot than this hidden Mickey in Ewok Village that's part of the queue for Star Tours at Hollywood Studios. It's hidden in one of the trees, but it's really small. This sideways hidden Mickey on Goofy Sky School at Disney California Adventure is much easier to spot than this one at Animal Kingdom. The Flamingo Island on Kilimanjaro Safaris actually makes up the outline of Mickey Mouse. One little tip to easily spot a hidden Mickey is to always keep an eye out for bubbles. Like you saw in the examples from the Disney animated films, they're a perfect way to hide a tribute to the mouse. The marquee sign for Voyage of the Little Mermaid at Hollywood Studios, the Showtime board for Finding Nemo the Musical at Animal Kingdom, and the carpet at Disney's Art of Animation Resort in Walt Disney World are just some examples. Disney fans today have come to expect hidden Mickeys scattered all throughout the theme parks and resorts, but overall, Walt Disney World in Florida has a lot more hidden Mickeys than the Disneyland Resort in California. It's sort of become an obligation for Disney Imagineers to include them in any new land or attraction, and although hidden Mickeys aren't as secretive as they once were in the 1980s, you never know where that next one's gonna pop up. So, what are some of your favorite hidden Mickeys around the Disney theme parks? Were any of the ones mentioned in this video ones you hadn't heard of? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And to celebrate the back to school season, you can enter promo code BTS15OFF at checkout to get 15% off TPM Vids merch. Promo expires August 31st, 2018. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like.